Okay, there's the sun right now, Friday morning. Let me tell you how hard it is to go fishing. All right, first you gotta get up early. <clears throat> if you wanna go early, you don't have to, but to catch the tide right and everything, you gotta get up and get yourself ready to go. You gotta leave. Then you gotta have your truck full of gas, your boat running, your trailer wheels greased, and everything in proper order. All your paperwork, your license, your rod and reels, your tackle, your gear, your bait, something to drink, and then you gotta drive to your destination if you're out on a place like this. It takes a lot to go fishing. It used to be so easy, but now it's not. I had some older friends that was, that was older and they wanted dependable people to do what they were doing like me. These guys are gone now. They, they, they're gone. They left the planet. All right? And I don't fish with just anybody. In fact, I'm like itchy boots. I'm kind of a loner when it comes to some things. The older I get, the more reclusive I get. I can't figure it. I got grandchildren. I got children. But, you know, I, they live away from me. But, and, and I don't seek out my friends hardly no more. I just do my own thing. I can pull my anchor when I'm ready. I can go when I want to. I can just do what I want when I'm ready to do it. So, you know, I don't have to cater. But, um... It's very hard to get everything together to go fishing. And then when you catch your fish, depending on what it is, you got to clean it, right? <clears throat> and then you can give some away, put it in the freezer or whatever. Um, you know, these are big fish right here. And that reason I'm patient because they are big fish. When I go 25 pounds, I get a lot. I got two bags of cobia now. It eats like swordfish. And um, so, but I'll... These Kobe are about thinning out. They're, they'll be further out, which I fished out there and I tore them up. Um, I may go out there. But I love a cloudy day like this. I don't like that sun. That bridge is different. I used to have my spot marked. I had two places here, the old bridge. But now I don't know exactly where I'm at. So fishing has not been the same since they built this new bridge. And you can see how low it is down there. You could get in the shade. The pylons was closer, and you could catch more fish. The sheephead, the black drum, blackfish, um, triple tail, spade fish, cobia, big spotted tail bass, whatever, big trout. It was a lot easier to catch them. But um, I'm going to still do that. And I got out of this for a little while, but um, hey, you know, next year, who knows? I might not get to come back. Gas might be $10 a gallon. You might not be able to find it. Okay? So... I'm going to do what I can right now while it's still, I think it's 426, it dropped down to 426, but um, life is too short, man. I know that from people that I've known in my life, <clears throat> from all kinds of different, they're gone, and I'm going to go too. I'm wearing a life jacket right now. If I fall in, if I have to fall in, that current is so swift. See, I'm having to use these big, giant sinkers. I'm use these big sinkers like this. Just that. To get to the bottom. Because it's so swift. And, and I would end up way down there. Now, you used to could not drown me. You couldn't drown me, right? I would swim <clears throat> to the bank. But now, I can't. I, I would cramp up. My right foot's messed up. I can't do what I used to do. So I had to wear a life jacket. So at least I'll float. My legs get clipped off by big sharks. So be it. It was apparently meant to be. And uh, But this is just something that's in my old blood. German Scott blood. Scottish German. <clears throat> and baby boomer. And I'll do this till I die. Which I figured I'd go out by accident, of course. But who knows. Might go out at 108 in my sleep. God willing. Thank you, God, right? Alright, so we got real messed up. And all that, that mess there is chem gas, that spray. It's, it's fallen and settled. It was coming from that way yesterday. It's out there. And I was breathing that in and I felt so bad after about three hours out here. And you gotta get something to eat. I ate um, tuna fish in oil 
olive oil and I mixed cashews in it and I ate that on the way here in the truck so you know that, that's a lot of protein it takes me I won't need not need to like five or six this evening actually because of that but um, anyway that's you know, just a little spotlight on the 1st of July 2020 and hopefully I'll be here July the 1st 2050 and so on um, so on um, my goal is to outlive the enemy who are the billionaires and politicians and so I keep myself in shape I lift my weights so I ride my bike even though I am hurt like hell and I come out here and this ain't easy this is a lot of work in here you gotta be real careful whoa 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 that was me but there's a bunch of bait stealing going on down there now. All right, this video is pretty long. Let's end it now.